Hello, this is Eric Colburn from ericcolburn.com and in this AutoCAD Civil 3D 2013 unwrapped video I'd like to just review a uh, look at a few things that I noticed in AutoCAD Civil 3D 2013. First, the other day I received a, an email from Autodesk saying that my upgrade was ready so I went to the subscription center downloaded uh, the upgrade and that went very smoothly loaded it on my computer and opened it up and really didn't have time to do much more than that so uh, today I was just opening up a drawing in AutoCAD Civil 3D 2013 and seeing right off the bat what was obviously uh, different and new and I thought I'd share that with you so I think the first thing I noticed different is the command line now is a sort of a floating window and as you type in commands you'll see they come up with a little gray line above it with the last command you entered and then eventually you know that fades away so that's kind of nice yeah, you see that again all the the prior thing did an automatic save so uh, it comes up but it doesn't stay there any you know, and you can move this wherever you want. I don't know what the best technique is at this point for customizing that for placement. Obviously, you have to work with it a little bit to see what works best for me, and you'll have to do that to see what works best for you. I think the second thing I noticed was on the, the ribbon, there's now a, a panel uh, dedicated to survey. And I think prior to that, I'm pretty sure you had to have a survey database point or survey point in your drawing. You had to click on that and then that panel uh, of options opened up. But here there's a dedicated uh, survey tab that you can click on to get to the panel. And uh, everything I think is uh, very similar to what you might have seen before except the new feature is the survey query command. So. I know I read a little bit quickly on that that you can uh, do uh, filtering and, and, and you know querying your, your survey points and then uh, I know you can make a surface from that so a new way of working with survey database points we'll have to look into that and put out some videos so you understand how to use that new feature and the third thing I noticed was I had opened up a, an existing file that I had and I went to do a save as I clicked on the big A in the upper left hand corner and as soon as you go to save as you'll notice you have an option to uh, save the drawing to the cloud to your Autodesk 360 account so that's a new thing you now have the ability to store your files on the cloud uh, in Autodesk 360 so I don't really know a lot about that. We'll have to look into it. I think I read that uh, normal or well, regular users of AutoCAD Civil 3D 2013, uh, or at least if you're upgrading to that like I am, I think you get 2 gigabytes of storage, and if you're a subscriber, I think you get 25. Not exactly sure on that. We'll have to look into that a little more. But uh, <clears throat> what I went to do was do a save as drawing, and I noticed right there first of all in the save drawing as dialog there's a now a link to your Autodesk 360 account and there's an option to automatically keep a copy of this document in my Autodesk 360 account so not only are you storing it on your hard drive but it's making a backup copy of it in the cloud to work with and so that's really an exciting new feature because you can access that while you're on the road working mobily different locations I think that's really an interesting feature that we'll certainly be looking into so I guess the fourth thing I noticed which is a biggie and I want to have a word of caution with you is if you go to the tool space and you click on the survey tab you'll see giant yellow <coughs> yellow shielded uh, with black exclamation points and it's telling you that you need to migrate your survey databases to the new file formats that are used with AutoCAD Civil 3D 2013 and uh, 
Obviously, you'll have to do that to work with AutoCAD Civil 3D 2013, but before you do anything, it's really important that you take your survey database files that you've been using with your prior release and make a, a backup copy of those files. Otherwise, you'll migrate the survey databases, and if you're trying to work with your older version while you integrate the new AutoCAD Civil 3D 2013, you will not be able to use those files. You'll open up your prior version of uh, Civil 3D and you'll go to open up a survey database and it will then give you a message saying that has been converted. So as a safety feature, if you need to go back to your prior version, let's say you're working on a project and you just really don't have the time to uh, use 2013 to work on it or a bug seems to come up and that happens from time to time with let's say 2013 and you just want to feel confident that you're using uh, the software is working right for you so you'll go back to your prior version of AutoCAD Civil 3D you will not be able to use those survey databases so before you migrate make a complete backup copy of your survey database and your project information which is good practice anyways but this gives you a, a good reason to do that because once you say migrate the survey database you're not going to be able to go back so those were just a few quick things I noticed with AutoCAD Civil 3D 2013 I think for the most part uh, a lot of it looks very familiar to prior versions for several versions I, I did see some things that are a little different here or there so as I as I use it and I, I see what's going on uh, We'll share that with you, and I guess the next step for me is uh, customize uh, Civil 3D for the way I like to work with it and migrating the survey databases, and then a good bit of learning about what some of these new features are. So this has been Eric Colburn from ericcolburn.com with your AutoCAD Civil 3D 2013 Unwrapped video. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And I do invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I look forward to uh, hearing your comments. And if you have anything you'd like to see me make a video on, please leave a comment on that, too. So thanks, work smarter, and be brilliant. This has been Eric Colburn from ericcolburn.com.